What's up guys, today in this video we are going to look at the new image component which is introduced in Next.js. I was part of the Next.js conf and that's where they spoke about some of the very interesting and powerful enhancements which they have done in the new image component and I think what they are giving to the developer is really amazing and so i wanted to explore that with you and understand what benefits we will get so you can see we can create an app using npx so that's what i'm going to do and while this is installing let's look at the image component so at first glance you may say you know this looks very much like any image tag so what's there the thing is this image tag or this image component comes with a lot of smartness built into it okay it has automatic compression or optimization you know if you see we have a quality aspect to it which can take any number between 1 to 100 the default being 75 so you control the size uh, the resolution or the quality of the image we can control the loading behavior of the image we can eager load the image we can lazy load the image you know these are certain things which i think is required in every website however we have I have personally always used some kind of library to be to get those behaviors however as you know the conference said or as the, dev, uh, the creator uh, said that these are right now bare minimum which is required in every website so you know, what we get for out of the box is really interesting okay so looks like this thing is taking time so let's wait for that okay so the installation is complete so i'll just run npm run dev but before that let me open it up in visual studio code npm run dev to start the application so our application is right now running on localhost 3000 and this is the welcome page which we get we will create our own page okay so i have just created a boiler plate for a page and let me open it up in the url right so i'm getting this however the idea is that we will load certain images in here so i have an array of or rather i have few urls from unsplash which you know are quite heavy and what i will do is you know when i want to show these images uh, first let me create an array out of it like so and then we will be able to just you know kind of map these images inside our component so something like but right, something like this so now what i will do is you can already see it is going to take a lot of time because these are heavy images i mean if i go to network and if i now reload this page and i'll filter it to images only let's disable cache wait for the images to load so you can see i mean i had quite heavy images frankly speaking so 8 mb 7 20 14 right and that's the reason i think you can you can't practically see the images this is using a regular image tag right now let's see what we have stored with the image component so we need to import it from next image okay and why don't i just do this and additionally i think you know i know as per the documentation it says that either we should provide a width and a height or we we say that unsized is true okay so that's how we can just ignore width and height if if we don't know the 
width and height of the image okay but otherwise basically it is preferred that we provide the dimensions because then the layout doesn't um, i would say start shuffling around because of the image taking up the block size anyways so let's add some height width for now we have 240 by 180 and okay what is it it says host name all right yeah so this is one thing which we'll have to do which is you know if we are using images from some other domain we we will have to make this change in next config js the configuration was given here somewhere host name is not configured it was there in the document i have seen it okay so i'll i'll first of all create the config file i i am referring to the notes because i am not able to find exactly where it was written but in my notes basically what i have done is um, in the config file we need to do something like this module dot exports in this we configure the images and we whitelist the domains so and because this is you know a list of unsplash image so we just add that so with this domain change or rather the whitelisting of these domains done and you know with this image tag coming in now i think now our application will be loading properly and yes you can see what has happened is the images are coming here and you can see that the size has really reduced a lot you know um, the images which were more than 7 8 mb have been you know, reduced significantly to you know, smaller sizes and this is a very big difference i think because uh, as you can see if you have worked with um, you know, frameworks like gatsby you'll see that those images were compressed during the build time okay and that means that you have a very long build process you know, uh, and those assets were compressed at the time you know all the static uh, pages were generated however with next what you get is dynamically changing the quality and obviously you know the biggest benefit is that i can compress images from you know coming from external sources which is you know really really a very big change because if you have you know websites where end user is going to make you know image uploads then how do you um, you know tackle that situation so that's where i think things uh, become very difficult and this kind of component will definitely help you and also you know right now if you can see these are very small images so the sizes are in the range of 9 10 10 and 9 kb right if i increase it something like uh let's say 19 20 by 600 right if something like this we do it looks very bad right so you can see although the images look a little weird because i have screwed up the aspect ratio of those images but now this image sizes have increased let's like they are 58 72 78 52 something like that right okay and yes i think you know, this is what i was talking about that we are able to change the quality of the images and uh, dynamically you know, work with them you know dynamically optimize the images on client side using very simple parameters right so it, you can see the url which is being created is something like the image name and then width equals 1200 quality is 75 now the quality is something which is being controlled by the component as i told you the default is 75 and i can go as low as one and we can go as high as 100 but yeah one more important thing which i wanted to show you is the aspect of lazy loading so let's just say i am able to add some styling to create a long page okay okay so i have a lot of brs in it and then i have a class called lot of padding obviously I want a lot of padding in this so let's say we have 200 pixel padding right so now if we go to our page and if i now see there is no network call 
because you know the images are not in the viewport however if i start scrolling you can see one network call was made and one image was loaded however the rest three are still not in my network call now i slowly scroll down one more comes here and i scroll a little more and you can see the third one is here as well so this lazy loading of images are available to us by default and i think those who have worked with these requirements you will you'll understand how much time we are saving by you know getting these things out of the box so yeah i think th uh, this is what i wanted to share with you although it's a very small um, component but it is packed with a lot of love and care by the developers and i am sure this is going to help you help us see a lot of optimized images on a lot of websites right because you, know, you can literally load smaller images for mobile devices and you know bigger images for desktops and whatnot on the fly you don't need to even create multiple dimensions because this is being done uh, on the client end so yeah uh, that's that's what the image tag does that's what it comes with so yes this is how we can use the new image tag in Next.js. I am quite excited and share your feedback, what you think about this new component and how uh, useful it can be for your website development. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.